have John Devine, Scott Golden, Lisa Venge, and Check, and David O'Neill. After that will be the district clerk candidates. And up first will be John Devine. Thank you, Constable. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Devine. I have been proud to serve as state district judge in the 190th district court for uh, over seven years. Uh, I have been a special judge for the last seven years. That give me, gives me a combined total of judicial experience of almost 15 years. And that is a significant in this race in which all four of us are running for a district court bench. Experience, you see, ladies and gentlemen, is vital in this position for the reasons that the prior speaker just spoke of. That we have the power over your life, your liberty, uh, your, your wealth, your property, your family. These are, this is a very high position, very important position. So I would invite you to look at our experience. I happen to be running against three lawyers. None of them have any judicial experience, ladies and gentlemen. And this is not a place to get on the job training. Back in 1997, I was sued by the ACLU for refusing to take the Ten Commandments down from my courtroom. And I stood against them. I told them no. And I said, listen, these values that we see in these Ten Commandments are the very foundation of our nation. And certainly they're the foundation of our laws and of the judiciary. And I boldly stood against their, their attack, and we defeated that case in the United States Fifth Circuit. The same commitment that I have to the values that I hold dear. I will share with the citizens of Montgomery County, and I will be the last defense for the citizens who are abroad by government regulation, who are attacked by government, or who are attacked by corporations. You see, judges are the last defense that you have. Uh, and it is vitally important, vitally important, that you know what makes us tick, each of us. I invite you to look at our qualifications and make your determination. Ladies and gentlemen, not one of my opponents have ever tried a case from a judicial perspective. Not one of my opponents has impaneled a jury from a judicial perspective. Not one of my opponents has handled a docket from a judicial perspective. And right now in Montgomery County, our dockets are, are uh, overflowing. They are backlogged. And when they are backlogged, ladies and gentlemen, the jail has to let folks out. Or law enforcement doesn't bring people into jail that should otherwise go to jail. In this circumstance, ladies and gentlemen, once again, experience matters. I've had to handle a docket. I've had to handle a docket that's backlogged. And I went in my original court, the 190th District Court, when I took that over. In 1995, we were the worst court in Harris County. And after three and a half years, we were number two. Because I had the tools and the experience necessary to reduce that docket, which improved public safety, which is necessary here in Montgomery County for the same reason. I served on the Harris County Juvenile Board. During a time in Harris County when juvenile crime was out of control, we, they had to let folks out. When we got on the board, we had to do some drastic measures. We had to build more facilities. We had to build a boot camp. We had to instill in the values of those youngsters and their parents what's wrong is wrong and what's right is right. We brought in education, faith-based programs, so that they would understand the things that, for some reason, in our society they were missing. And we turned that around. We went from the worst to one of the best in just four years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Judge John Devine. I appreciate your support and your consideration. Thank you. God bless. Good evening. My name is Scott Goldman, and I'm also running for judge of the 241st District Court here in Montgomery County. We're all four legally qualified to serve as judge of this court. So what separates me from my three opponents? What you're about to do is you're about to elect a judge for the 221st District Court. That judge is your public servant. He's there to serve you. He's there to serve Montgomery County. So what separates me from my three opponents? I would ask you to check out our campaign literature. Check out our websites. Look at our information before you make a decision who you're going to vote for and make an informed decision. Because that's what's best for Montgomery County and for the citizens of Montgomery County. And if you do that, if you look at our literature, especially mine, and you look at my website, you're going to find out what separates me from my three opponents. 
On my brochures, I have something that says the candidate with the most trial experience and community involvement in Montgomery County. You see, I have already, for over 21 years, been serving the citizens of Montgomery County. Amen. Compare my service to the county to those of my three opponents, and you'll see how I can make this statement. I have served the citizens of Montgomery County. I've been involved for the citizens of Montgomery County. Why? It sure wasn't when I started doing this over 21 years ago. It sure wasn't for this day when I decided I was going to run for judge. It's because I love Montgomery County. I love the citizens of Montgomery County. And most of my community service has been for the youth of Montgomery County. There's quite a few of y'all that know me out there in this audience. I'm especially proud to be involved in the Montgomery County Fair, where I served over the livestock show for nine years, and I think I'm in my eighth or ninth year of the livestock auction right now. I don't do that for the fun of being out there at the rodeo. I do it because we put back almost a million dollars in the hands of Montgomery County students every year. And the scholarship committee, which I'm the assistant chairman of, puts over $100,000 back in scholarships to the students across Montgomery County. I do it for the kids. I'm also a Montgomery County Food Bank volunteer. My wife, Doris Goldman, has been the executive director of the Montgomery County Food Bank for going on eight years now. I'm volunteered just like my wife and our four boys who I've raised here, three of which have graduated from Caney Creek and one's a sophomore there now. What am I doing for y'all? Well, I'll give you a prime example. Everybody remembers Hurricane Ike. And when four of the schools at Splendora's freezers went out, and they were going to have to throw away the food. They contacted the food bank, and they contacted Tommy Williams' wife. We got together. I got a cooking crew, and we came over here to High Point Church that Wednesday and Thursday and cooked and served over 10,000 people to help out you, the citizens of Montgomery County. Look at our literature, look at my website, and see how I've helped out the community. I've also been a leader in the legal community in Montgomery County. I'm a past president of the Montgomery County Bar Association. I've been the chairman of the Judges and Lawyers Buyers Group for the Fair for over 15 years. I've been a chairman of the Courthouse Appreciation Barbecue for over 15 years. I've served the citizens, and I want to continue to do so as your judge of the 221st District Court. Please check us out and make an informed decision. I've been an attorney here for over 21 years. Why do I want to run for judge? A lot of the cases I've tried have been all over the state of Texas, and unfortunately, I've not always seen justice. And the majority of the time when I haven't seen justice has been from judges, not the lawyers. You elect me judge in the 221st District Court, I can promise you that I will be fair. I will be impartial. More importantly, everybody will start on an even playing field from the beginning of that case to the very end. I can promise you that. There will not be any favoritism. Every case will be decided on the facts of that case. I'll use common sense. I appreciate your vote and support. Scott Bowman, Judge Kennedy, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. That's kind of a strange thing. <laughs> My name is Lisa Benge, Mike Chalk, and I thank you so much for having me here tonight. I'm running for the 21st District Court, and in 2009, there were 1,083 cases settled in the 221st Court. Every single one of them was a felony criminal case. Over 900 new cases were filed last year in the 221st. Every single one of those was a felony criminal case. And you might be asking yourself, why is that important? Well, there were zero patent law cases filed. There were zero contract cases filed. There were zero personal injury cases filed. And the reason why that's important is because I'm the only one standing up here on the stage that has ever tried a felony criminal case. I was a prosecutor almost nine years, five and a half years here in Montgomery County. I was a felony criminal chief. I was chief of intake and grand jury. I have handled thousands of criminal cases. And it's important to me and my family, my husband's here tonight, we have three boys, to know that this court because it's handling mostly criminal cases, over 95% of the cases being filed in this court are criminal cases. It's important to me that the judge have experience in criminal law. We're talking about violent criminal cases, capital murders, murders, aggravated sexual assaults. We're talking about cases where people are beaten and are bruised. 
I have experience dealing with children who are victims of violent crime, and I have spent my entire career in this area trying to help others. So if you have an already made your decision on who to vote for on March 2nd, I'd like you to remember my name. It's Lisa Meinschock. I went to Texas A&M University. Um, I always wanted to be a lawyer, don't ask me why. Um, but I wanted to help others, and that was really important to me. And I know that it's probably important to you that I am also involved in the community. I'm a member of the Woodlands United Methodist Church. My husband and I help teach Sunday school. Um, I was saying in the church choir, it's real important to me that, that my faith is also a big part of my life. Our county needs someone who's committed. Our county needs somebody who's involved. But it also needs somebody who's relevant from our experience. Somebody that knows when somebody comes before me and wants a bond, I know exactly what that means. And I know exactly what, what it means is they're going to go out in our community and they can do this crime again. So I have to really watch them. I have experience and the know-how to deal with that. I think it's really important that I bring three goals to this. And there are three goals that I've had throughout my campaign. And it's fairness, efficiency, and integrity. I think a judge should be fair to both sides. I've been in private practice since 2003. So I've been both on the prosecution side and the defense side. I've seen it from both angles. Efficiency, I will agree with my, my opponents. Our system is, is broken because of our infrastructure. We have so many cases being filed that I, I find clients sitting outside in the hallway on the floor. Something's wrong, and you deserve better than that. And I expect that the very first day in office, I will make changes. I think it's very, thank you. It's very important that if a judge starts the dock at 9 o'clock, he or she comes out at 9 o'clock. I will not be strolling in at 10 o'clock. 10.30, I just started on a jury in December myself. And it was really interesting being on that side of the equation. Um, I had to wait I think, a couple hours outside. And I knew that there was good business going on in the court. But I understand from your perspective, if you're sitting outside in the hallway, you may not understand what's going on. And I think your time is valuable, and I think that people who appear before a judge, their time is valuable. And if you don't come out on time, then that means you're being disrespectful to those around you. Finally, my personal integrity is very important to me. Um, I was raised by parents who grew up in East Texas. My mom was raised in Lufkin. My dad was born in Groveton. I was raised to believe your personal integrity is very important. And if you lose it and you give it away, you can never be arraigned. So on March 2nd, like I said, if you haven't already made a decision on who you want as your next judge of 221st District Court, remember my name, Lisa Meinchel. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm David O'Neill, uh, and I decided to run for the 221st District Court because I think Montgomery County uh, is reaching a benchmark in its development. Uh, the census that will be taken this year in 2010 is almost certainly going to show that Montgomery County has reached uh, a population of half a million. And with that increase in population, there have been more and more uh, and greater and greater cases of complexity that are reaching these, uh, our district courts. I am the candidate that is best suited to handle those heavier dockets and to have, uh, handle the more uh, intensive cases that are reaching our courts. And every lawyer that's standing up on the stage is definitely qualified to take this bench. But I think I can look you straight in the eye and give you three or four reasons why I am the best candidate on this stage for the 221st. First, I'm a little longer in the two than the other folks that are up here. I've been practicing law for 27 years. Uh, and almost every one of those 27 years has been spent handling either complex commercial litigation uh, or in defense of significant personal injury cases. Now, Lisa keeps making the point, or attempts to make the point, that the 221st District Court is a criminal court. That's simply not the case. I have tried a case in the 221st in the last uh, 24 months or so, and it was, in fact, a contract dispute and a, and a case that involved uh, intellectual property. And so this court is one of general jurisdiction that has got to be ready to handle family law cases, civil cases, criminal law cases. 
And the simple fact of the matter is that the current judge of this court has shown a preference for asking for criminal court or criminal cases to arrive at her topic. Now, there is no finer representative, I would think, of the uh, district attorney's office than Ms. might have some diversity of background on this court. Now, one other thing that I would like to bring to your attention is that when I graduated from law school 26, 27 years ago, I didn't pull the book and put it down and decide that I was done with the study of law. We lawyers are the only ones who got it backwards, and they give us our doctorate first, and then they give you master's of law degree second. And when I finished my uh, doctorate degree 26 years ago, I went back years later and earned first a master of laws degree in intellectual property law, and then subsequently went back again and earned a degree in uh, international law as well. These are relevant to cases that are going to reach the district courts of Montgomery County. As I mentioned to you, the last case that I tried to Judge Snowball about 24 months ago was essentially a copyright case that had been tossed back uh, by one of the federal judges because he was getting ready to try uh, the lay and skilling criminal case and didn't have room for it on his docket. And so we essentially tried a copyright case which was in the guise of a, of a, a contract case to Judge uh, Snowball and got a very happy result from the police report. Um, in addition to the length of my experience and the degree of my formal training, the one other thing that I would point out is the breadth of where my experience has been. I have tried dozens and dozens of cases to final verdict in dozens of counties throughout this state. I, I have tried, thank you. I have tried cases uh, in federal court as well as state court. I have handled litigation not only in every federal district in this state, but I've handled litigation in federal districts as far flung as the Northern District of Florida, as well as the Eastern District of Michigan. That experience with all of those courts has given me an education in the systems that are available to manage pleadings, to manage discovery, to manage dockets. And that's going to be important to the future management of the dockets of the 221st District Court. I'm Dave O'Neill, and I ask you for your support I ask you for your vote to continue the tradition and to improve upon the tradition of fairness and efficiency in the 221st District Court.